Hello YouTube, welcome back to Gasfield's Garage. Uh, you know us from the project in Porsche. I'm Jeremy. I'm Pat. And uh, we're gonna show you a little more cars in the stable. We're not gonna be some one trick pony. You know, people have seen some other vehicles in the background and they've been asking about them. So we're gonna give you a little heads up as to what's in the future. Here we go. All right, go ahead. All right, up on top we have a 73 Duster. Needs a little bit of work, runs good. Uh, Runs and drives, you know, does everything it's supposed to, stops. Body was a little rough on it. Started this with a buddy of mine a few years back and ended up, uh, he lost interest, so we made a deal, I bought it from him. And <laughs> I got busy at work, so didn't get too much more done with it. So that one, that one's in the lineup. And uh, a little bit about it. It's got a 360 in it. I don't know what's been done to it. it. Sounds like it's a little healthy. Not sure on the transmission. I believe it's a 727, but not positive. Other than that, interior is good. All white interior. Uh, has a nice big rust hole in the roof that has got a patch and a little bit more body work here and there and it'll be ready for paint. And that's about that. Don't really have a set plan for it yet. Uh, yeah, that's about it for that one. And down below it, we have a 73 Bronco. They're not worth anything at all. Yeah, uh, it's got a really healthy uh, 351 in it with a C6 automatic. What do we know about the engine? Uh, I don't know a whole lot. I know it was built by Smokies and Oceanside. And I've got two giant boxes full of receipts. I haven't bothered to look through them yet, but I know it does run good from the little bit that I've driven it before I parked it. Why'd you park it? <laughs> Started doing the body work on it. Same thing, got busy at work. Didn't have to do anything with it scaring the shit out of you while you're driving it? No, I'm not the one that got scared. The uh, previous owner that I got it from, it's uh, everything on it mechanically is brand new. The rear end and front end have been gone through. They put lockers in it. And like I said, it's uh, it's got quite a bit of horsepower. So he was uh, he was heading home one day on a dirt road. And he was uh, making a left-hand turn. And the carburetor had some issues on it. And it had a little flat spot in it. So it stumbled while he was going around the turn. And he gassed it. <laughs> and the motor came on and the locker kicked in. And he uh, rolled it on its side. And that's when I came in and I got it. So, got to, got to do all that. Got a couple rust holes, you know, typical spots in the Bronco underneath the hood right here. In the uh, inner fender, basically. On both sides. I don't know if you can see them, can you? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, a little bit of rust in there. It needed rockers, the rockers are done. Uh, interior needs to be done. The interior is, uh, you know, original and it's thrashed. Bad for being laid on its side. This is not bad. No, it's not bad at all. The roof took the worst of it. More rain gutters, thin in, thin in. A couple of dents up here. No big deal. Nope. Up there. Not from this side. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit of damage, so you know. Yeah. It's understandable. It's not bad though. No, and, and you paid, what, a million dollars for this thing? How much was it? I got a pretty good deal on it. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> he got a smoking deal, guys. <laughs> like, you wouldn't even believe. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a project, but it's not too bad. It's got all the right stuff in it. Yeah, I got a brand new wiring harness from Painless. Uh, it's got a Painless dash, a gauge cluster, and then in a box somewhere. All that needs to be put in. And obviously it needs uh, ribs and tires. Oh, uh, you don't like those 80s? Mm, yeah, not so much. As you can see guys, this is a very nice machine to start with. He is a lucky man to have this thing. Yeah, I, I, got, I got lucky on this one. So lockers front and rear. Lockers front and rear, built C6, uh, built 351. Like I said, I don't know what all's in the motor and trans, but I got two boxes full of receipts that I haven't gone through. Uh, yeah, if I had to guess, there's probably 
at least 10 grand in the motor and trans, if not more. And like I said, it, uh, it gets with it. It'll go sideways at 45. Don't ask how I know. <laughs> All right. On to the next, the, the, the biggest beast in the fleet. <laughs> yeah. Look at this mammoth. <laughs> All you square body lovers, look at this thing. Yeah, this one here was my da daily driver for a little while. Until gas got really expensive and uh, it's got a 502, 502 in it. Well, those are good on gas mileage. What are you talking about? Yeah. It's also got lockers front and rear. Uh, a uh, turbo 400. And it's got the, uh, I forget what they call it on these, but they took the spider gears out of the transfer case. So it's really four wheel drive along with the lockers. Not in horrible shape, but uh, yeah, trying to figure out what the best best thing to do on this so no future plans as of yet but we will be getting to it one day well, not not looking forward to the body work on this thing was originally thinking about putting a different body like a coe on it but now that the square bodies are so popular uh, go that route. these things are really skyrocketing in value as you can see it's got all the Billet stuff from the 80s, Come on, that's 90. 90s, whatever. Seats are faded, headlights come, headliners coming down. But hey, that'd be cool. We could do like a throwback, paint it with all the neon, big neon on it, maybe a rip. But no, very, very nice truck. Wish it was mine, but you know, I couldn't afford the gas on it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and when I was driving this thing, it would go anywhere. As you can see, I'm uh couple miles down a dirt road so there is nobody <laughs> even remotely gonna find him out here this place is in the middle of nowhere pretty much anybody that would get stuck out here i could get him out <clears throat> all right and then last in the fleet what do we got here we have a 1970 69 70 uh short bed big window uh <laughs> This is my baby. I'll never get rid of this one. Probably never finish it either, but think about getting this back on the road here pretty soon. You know, you know how it goes. You can't make up your mind on what you want to do with it. Looks good in yellow, but I'm not a not a fan of yellow. So yeah, this one uh it ran when parked, believe it or not. It really did. I drove it in here. Uh Last time I had this out was 2012. I was started doing some body work on it because I was off work for a little while with a broken leg. And then I went back to work and got busy and here it sits. All flat tires and everything. Kind of sad to see it like this. Uh, got a 350 with a 700R4 automatic. Uh, this thing, <laughs> it runs pretty good. It gets down the road. Unfortunately, it's got the freeway gears in the rear end. Uh, and the other drawback is it's got drum drum brakes all the way around. Uh, other than that, I think all the rust is taken care of. There is some old bodywork on it that wasn't done the way I would like it. So I want to get that straightened out, obviously, before I paint it. And uh, maybe a little bit on the interior. Definitely been a minute since it's been on the road. Yeah. And the plan for this one is to make just, you know, a nice driver. Nothing wild. Nothing wild? Go static on the suspension. Just updated a little bit. These trucks aren't even popular at all. Yeah. You should just give it to me. gotten probably 97 I believe somewhere around there got it from a buddy of mine who got it from his brother it's kind of been passed around didn't have a place to put it so I sold it to my dad for a couple years and got it back and yeah <laughs> this one definitely needs to be on the road 
Yeah, Pat, this is a shame. This thing is so badass. Yeah. Really not a fan of the color, but, you know, we yeah. can do something about that. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the yellow, but it does look good on this truck. Uh, no, let's agree to disagree on that. And let's uh, let's agree to get rid of those uh, ugly mirrors first thing. Oh, come on now. Those are coming back. Those are just horrendous. Baby turbos? Those are almost as ugly as my car. <laughs> no, let's not go there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just can't make up my mind on the color. I really like black and I like red, but that's been done to death. All right, guys. Well, you know, that concludes another day here at the Gasol's Garage. Um, you know, we just went through all the cars for you. Uh, you know, there, there's going to be future projects. You know, and there's plenty down in the pipe. We didn't just want you to know that we're not just going to be a one-trick pony working on my piece of crap. You know, he's got nice cars. Yeah, I got a few. So They're not nice right now, but they will be. He's going to have the good ones, and, you know, we're getting the, getting the shit out of the way first, you know, is what we're doing. And we also have some other projects we might throw up in the mix here and there little stuff so anyway uh please like tag share and follow subscribe and uh, if you can please give money to st jude have a good day have a good day